Mayor claims that a local hospital has procedures in place, but they're not being followed 100%, and it could put you at risk for coronavirus. This comes after a recent outbreak. 10 News reporter McKinley Struther is live tonight outside of Carillion. So McKinley, you spoke to someone who has it and is worried about it spreading on the job. Lindsay, this employee has requested that we do not disclose their identity, but they're worried about their safety here at work, which in turn has them concerned about yours as it pertains to the spread of coronavirus out of all places right here at the hospital. We wore goggles, I mean, we wore our, um, face shields and a mask, and, you know, the only time we took them off was to eat. Yet still, the power of the virus, too strong, with 24 environmental services employees testing positive for coronavirus. EBS department, environmental services, definitely could have done more. They could have took us more serious when we said we were sick and we had symptoms. I do feel that. I do feel that they could have done more by just sending us home or just telling us to go get tested, you know, or something, something different and go back to work. Korean has long had a comprehensive and detailed COVID-19 response plan with a daily screening which flagged these cases, mask mandates, limited occupancy, signage, encouraging good hygiene and more. I think Korean did a great job with that, but still we just don't know where it came from we, we, we don't know this employee fears for his life and his job a job he says he cannot afford to lose right now he fell ill about two weeks ago later testing positive with his co-workers as of this evening he's still out sick Korean officials tell 10 news through contact tracing they believe community spread and personal outside of work activity led to this spread yeah, i'm scared actually because i could go back in and easily catch it again we don't know where it came from Now, in a statement, Carillion says, in part, they take these issues seriously. If they learn of instances when their policy and procedures are not followed, they work hard to correct that behavior. As noted, this employee still out of work tonight with no taste, no smell. This all about a week, nearly two weeks after they initially tested positive. We're live tonight in Roanoke, outside of the Carillion Roanoke Memorial Hospital. I'm McKinley Struther, 10 News, working for you.